Upon Caligula's ascension to the throne, the people of Rome were happy to have a young and vibrant emperor. Gaius Caesar, better known as Caligula, was the third ruler of Rome, and he earned his infamous name, the Mad Emperor. He was the son of the much-beloved Germanicus. When it comes to Caligula's family, his mother was the great-granddaughter of Augustus, while on his father's side, he was a descendant of Livia, Augustus' wife. So, when it comes to having Julio-Claudium royal blood, he had it abundantly. Caligula was born in Antium, outside Rome, but was taken to his father's Germanicus, who was stationed on the northern frontier. It is here that he earned his nickname Caligula, derived from Caliga, meaning military boots, as the soldiers affectionately called him Little Boots. He had five siblings, two older brothers, and three younger sisters. Tragically, both of his brothers were caught up in Sejanus's power struggle and died charged with treason. When Germanicus passed away in Syria, Agrippina, Caligula's mother, began a feud with Emperor Tiberius that eventually forced her into exile. As a result, Caligula lived with his great-grandmother, Livia, until her death in 29 AD. He then moved to live with Antonia, Germanicus's mother, but after she revealed Sejanus's plot to him, he relocated once again, this time to Capri, where he stayed with his great-uncle, Emperor Tiberius. Despite the fact that Tiberius, under some influence from Sejanus, and had killed and exiled Caligula's family members, including his own mother, Caligula hid any resentment he felt towards him. For six years, Caligula lived with the old emperor Tiberius until 37 AD when he died. In his will, Tiberius had named Caligula and his grandson Gemellus to be joint heirs. However, this part of the will was nullified, and Caligula alone ascended to the imperial throne. Upon becoming the emperor after Tiberius's death, Caligula acted honorably and held an imperial funeral for the late emperor, despite the fact that the people of Rome were glad to see Tiberius dead. At only his mid-twenties, when he ascended to the throne, it was believed that his long reign would restore vitality to the city, which it did to some extent, with the construction of a new aqueduct and restoration of several temples. He brought a surge of energy to Rome and held grand gladiatorial games and chariot races in Circus Maximus. In addition, he canceled all taxes and trials that had been set in motion during Tiberius's reign. After Caligula became emperor, one of the first things he did was collect the remains of his mother and brother, who had died in exile, and bury them in Augustus' mausoleum. However, eight months later, in October 37 AD, Caligula fell seriously ill, possibly caused by poisoning. During this time, Praetorian prefect Macro began making moves to secure Gemellus' ascension to power. But once Caligula recovered from his illness, he forced both Macro and Germanus to commit suicide. Sources claim that during his illness, his mental state deteriorated significantly, which led him down a path toward tyranny. The canceled treats and trials were reinstated, but this time the purpose was to procure money from the wealthy Roman elites. Rich Romans were accused of treason, and their properties were confiscated. Caligula ignored or humiliated the Senate, and actively sought out honors and titles, going against both Augustus's and Tiberius's attempts to appear humble. One of the more notorious stories is that he wanted to make his horse Inictus a consul. However, he never did so. He committed incest with his sister Drusilla, who passed away in 37 AD. As a result, everyone in Rome was forbidden from laughing or smiling, and Caligula ordered her deification. He often appeared dressed up as different gods and established temples for himself, which suggests that he thought himself divine. Caligula was also an active participant in chariot races and gladiatorial games, where he fought as a Thracian gladiator. Soon enough, his friend, Aemilius Lepidus, led the first conspiracy against him. Aemilius Lepidus, who was Augustus' relative, had been instrumental in his rise to power. Aemilius was also married to Caligula's sister, Drusilla, and it is believed that Caligula had obtained some letters detailing the plot with his sister's involvement. As a result of this discovery, Aemilius Lepidus was executed and Drusilla was exiled. Vespasian proposed in the Senate that the remains of Aemilius be thrown away instead of given a proper burial. This motion was passed through. Then Caligula unexpectedly marched to Upper Germania, arriving before Gatulicus, the commander of the Upper Rhine, was aware of his approach. As a result of being implicated in the plot against Caligula, Gatulicus was forced to take his own life 
and Galba was given command over his position. After departing Upper Germania, it appears that Caligula had planned an invasion of Britain. When this plan fell through, Caligula instead formed his army into battle formation along the coast and commanded them to gather seashells as spoils from Neptune. A prince from Britain, who had been banished by his father, surrendered to him. He then sent a letter to Rome claiming the entire island had submitted. To make up for not having any prisoners at his triumph, as is customary, Caligula captured the inhabitants of Gaul, which he deemed appropriate for the occasion. Satisfied with his campaign, he marched back to Rome, expecting a grand triumph and celebration of victories over Britain and the ocean. However, upon arriving there was no such event held for him. In January 41 AD, Caligula's reign of three years and ten months came to a violent end when he was assassinated by some officers in the Praetorian Guard after he left the theater on Palatine Hill. His erratic behavior had humiliated senators and insulted the Praetorian Guard, making him an enemy of many. Initially, it was believed that his death may have been a ploy for him to gauge people's true feelings about him, but this was quickly proven false. This marked the end of the mad emperor Gaius Caesar. Consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and clicking the bell icon below for more videos like this. See you in the next video.